Hey guys, it's Dino. Today is Saturday, August 17th, 2013, and this is uh, more of a life update than it is a transition update. Um, yeah, so I'm currently at my parents' house right now, um, and uh, I'm staying here overnight till I go back to Beverly tomorrow. I have a photo gig with one of my friends tomorrow, photographing her senior pictures. Today, I just got back from my little mini vacation, I guess it's like almost two week vacation, to Manchester, New Hampshire, uh, and Northfield, Vermont. I was mostly in Vermont, but um, yesterday I spent the day uh, running around Manchester on my own, taking pictures and, and walking around, and, and it, was, it was good times. And from last Wednesday to this Thursday, I spent that time in Vermont with a bunch of cool peeps at Summer's End, which is a youth empowerment conference. And it's like skill sharing and workshops and and it's it's very empowering and healing and um you could kind of call it camp, but I would call it more of like a like a vacation than a camp. So the freshmen move in uh on campus in a week on next Saturday and then classes start uh, in a week and a half or something like that on the 28th. So regarding Summer's End, each year uh, I've noticed very big changes after I've attended um, this conference for, for a week. To start off, it's amazing how, how much one can change um, uh, within a week and how, how long a week can seem when you're separated from from modern society and and with a bunch of like-minded peeps and and just you know self-discovery and and self-healing and self-empowerment and it's like it's just an amazing opportunity an amazing feeling you learn a lot about yourself that you might not know and you change for the good and it's i don't know how to explain it it's just it's an amazing opportunity this was my third year and the first year that I went, um, uh, after that conference, I had um, gotten, I had gained the confidence to push my parents a little bit more to start testosterone, and I, was, and I proved successful at that. So um, they have let me do that, and my parents think that was the best decision they made for me uh, as a minor um, today. I'm glad that happened. Before this conference, I have always been very vocal about. Um, my trans status and and for some reason always bringing it into uh, my day to day life, which is uh, which is fine. But what I realized at this conference this year is that um, my status of my transition at this point is pretty much I have reached my end goal for the time being. I cannot cannot take any more further steps to further any kind of surgery or or legal stuff or whatever. I'm pretty much done with that part. Besides a hysterectomy, which I don't really need uh, right now uh, to further my transition, right now I pretty much just have to wait. <laughs> wait and sit and uh, let the hormones do their thing. So because of that, I am a happier person and I I don't think I have the need to, to be constantly talking about my transition and talking about this and that all the time on Facebook, at school, on, on Tumblr, on everything else. Um, so I, I kind of want to step back and, and still be a resource to people, but also kind of like, I guess, strike that balance with being out, but also um, just, just being me and just living my life, if that makes any sense. I guess the major thing that I learned this year is that I want to strike a balance. And um, that balance uh, is regarding um, being very outspoken and out there and listening and observing and seeing and hearing and taking it all in. And uh, seeing how all that uh, observation and listening and learning can further my life and so I can help others and better understand others. So it's it's been a long journey of um, you know learning when is the right time to speak up and when is the right time to, to step back and, and hold my mouth and, and um, just listen. You know, it's it's good that I've, that I've always been a very curious person and always been asking questions. But, you know, I, I do enjoy talking about myself. I talk, I talk about myself a lot, but um, 
I also do enjoy asking other people about their lives and, and listening. I'm going to try to make a conscious um, effort to, to listen more and hold, hold back if I really have the urge to say something, but it's not really needed in the conversation. Apparently, um, my friend Grace says that I also uh, speak a lot more confidently for some reason, um, so I guess that's a good thing. I feel a lot more relaxed right now, and I and I feel I feel very very uh, cool minded. I I haven't fully kind of digested um, everything that's kind of like happened to me this week. I know that what has happened has been a good has been a good thing. I am very happy with it. This week I also discovered that I I kind of want to take a more leadership role, both in the summer's end community and and outside of that in my day to day life because I I feel like I already have leadership tendencies but I, I don't know how to properly go about them. While well, one of them is being very outspoken and loud and, and outgoing, the other one is uh, just as big as that, is listening and stepping back and letting people collaborate and do their thing. I feel like growing up, um, kind of doing a lot of things on my own, I've kind of uh, had, had trouble with, with um, stepping back and letting things happen. I don't know, because I, I do really, like, I strive to work well in teams and, and I, I really want to be able to collaborate with people. And it's something I really need to work on a lot, um, but I, I'm i excited that I, that I realized a lot of these things about myself this past week. I don't know, I just, apparently I just, I seem a lot more confident um, since a year ago or so. I am more happy and, and that's an amazing feeling and an amazing... Uh, thing to hear from my friends and and family, and I'm also uh, a little bit less picky with food. Um, one of my goals this week was to to try new things uh, food wise, and I did, which is good. One of my goals this week was to also become more spiritual, but I kind of for some reason forgot about that, and I didn't take up the opportunity to, be, to kind of like discover my spiritual side as much as I would like to. But hopefully, I will work on that. Um, over the next year and and at the next year's conference and so on and so forth. One of my goals is also to start painting a little bit more uh, on with my acrylic and a lot of people at the conference actually really enjoyed them and they thought they were really cool when I didn't really think that much of them um, and my style of, of paint and not photography beforehand back at school. But now that I know that people actually like them, I am going to um, make more of them and kind of explore that side of things in regards to um, my my fine art and my non-photography. We also have an auction, like a fundraising auction each year. I donated one of my, my big prints of like one of my conceptual pieces of photography and people really liked that and I thought that was really cool. Um, it sold really well, I was really excited about that. So I'm gonna try to work on conceptual pieces more this year. I'm, I'm very excited for the school year. Um, for my photography courses and my sculpture course and and trying new mediums and just a bunch of stuff. I really I really want to get creative, you know. You know, I really want to get creative and, and do things and just, I'm happy, I'm calm, I'm cool and collected for the time being. I don't know, I just I'm I'm happy, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling relieved. Uh, stay strong guys, keep your head up and keep doing your own thing. Peace out.